All right, here we are. Now we've got a lot of questions from some of the fans. This is the exciting world of Twittering. So while, ah, BD Sand, I think is one of your biggest fans. I'm not sure exactly where he or she or it comes from, but BD Sand asks each band member, there's three of them there, what's the first album you ever, ever brought? I bought the Twin Peaks soundtrack the same day that I bought CNC Music Factory, gonna make you sweat. <laughs> no word of a lie. I bought a uh, I bought a How to Break Dance cassette tape <laughs> when I was in, when I was about seven. I bought the following album the first time <laughs> as a child. It was a classic uh, CD. I don't. Tape or CD? God, that was... Tape or CD? Tape or CD. Mine were tapes. My first CD was yeah, Bone, Bone, Bone Machine and Tom Waits. No, it says album, so I think all, everything applies. It okay, could be LP, really an tape, album, I BD tape or <laughs> CD. I... What did... I think it was... Uh, I didn't buy music until I was old. I'm afraid time <laughs> is up. The next Damn question it! is... <laughs> is Maple74 asks... What was the inspiration for the vintage cover art on the album? Old times. Good old times. It wasn't vintage, we just made it. Yeah, <laughs> it just looks yeah. old. It's not vintage I, at all. See, I would, I would say it wasn't inspired. <laughs> <laughs> You'd say it wasn't vintage. No, You'd it say was, it wasn't inspired. It's, <laughs> it was, it's, it's just I art. I know. <laughs> I think it was because Tyler, our friend Tyler had that really nice car. <laughs> As and with all our other albums, <laughs> yeah. fast, fast, nice car inspired the album artwork. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, that was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> You've lived interesting <laughs> lives. Exactly. Now, how much, Twitter. Money, yeah, how much money have we earned this far? <laughs> you are minus 400. <laughs> Tim and I are doing all right. You are minus 400. <laughs> well, there's somebody claiming to be calling, calling himself Twitters. Uh, out of all the venues you've ever played at, which are your top three favorites? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the Barrel Lands. Barrel Lands in Glasgow. Yeah. Spr mm -hmm. It's an old roller rink with a sprung floor, so people dance and it goes cool. Boom. It's amazing. Nice. What was that yeah. one that was in uh, just outside of Cincinnati in Kentucky? The, the oh, the something house. Oh, the Southgate house. Southgate house. That one was pretty. I remember. I have really fond memories of that one. Yeah. And I like the Berkeley Greek. Yeah. It's like, yeah, a, it's like a Greek is really nice. Yeah. But it really looks like a Greek theater. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're warming yep. up. There's three of us, too. Now, Liao, Liao, Liao Hank asks, uh, what bands are you listening to today? Well, Liao, I always, whenever I go into a record store, I buy old world music compilations. Like, I buy old reggae or calypso or mm -hmm. folk music or Cuban drum. I just yeah. sort of all I buy anymore is folk compilations. Yeah, with good reason. <laughs> with good reason. I speaking of that, actually I am listening to this old um, I think Peruvian singer named Eva Sumac. He's got this insane like ten octave yeah, exactly. range, kind of the Mariah Carey of her time, but it was a much more <laughs> interesting time. <laughs> no offense, Mariah. Um. <laughs> I want to say the latest thing that I listened to, the most recent thing I listened to was George Jones. Yeah. That's been coming up lately a lot. When Nat and I were in Saskatchewan, there was a, a George Jones, a band playing a bunch of George Jones covers, and that got me back into it. And I know Jeremy, Jeremy who's not here, who, who is perhaps the most on top of things, is listening to De Antwoord now. Yeah, De Antwoord. Because they are hilarious. Because they're naughty. But I won't, I won't put words into Jeremy's mouth. That's all he does. He's probably listening really... to that right now. He's probably listening to that and eating Nutella as we speak. <laughs> okay, a, a Fifi Tan, a Fifi fan? A Fifi, a Fifi, a Fifi Tan is saying, hello, Arcade Fire. Hi. Hi. What advice would you give to new bands trying to make their way in the world? Hmm. Um, never trust anyone. Yeah, never trust anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do what you want. Do what you feel. <laughs> do what you feel. Don't try not to take any money from anyone. Yeah. Try not to take any money from strangers. Yeah. Try to only take money from your parents. Yeah. And, and yeah, and try not to take 
too much money in advance. And if you do have to take money from strangers, just brace yourselves for it not being that fun. Yes, yeah. is what I would say. And, and then you might be a little more prepared. Don't spend too much time Googling your, about yourself on the internet because <laughs> you will quickly learn the folly of your ways. Now we've got a, somebody called Humdrum Online uh, who's saying, do you find yourself adding new elements to a song each night or is, it, is every part always the same? New elements. New elements. Every three nights for me, not every night. Uh -huh. You add a new element, you get into it. Oh yeah, that is good, that's staying. And then you move forward. Yeah. We're still early in the tour at this point, yep. so it's still in a bit of flux. And by the end of tour, you, it's getting so old that you start adding new elements so you don't go crazy. Yeah. So yeah. it's a very different mood of adding new elements, but it's still, yeah. it's definitely still in flux right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever add old elements? I have, um, I have, I've gone back and listened to like Funeral and been like, oh yeah, and then reintroduce things that I forgot about. Oh yeah, I'm supposed world. to be doing this. Yeah, this is how that <laughs> song goes. I was doing, I did a bit of homework before this tour. Well done. Well done. Not I. <laughs> now we have Inter Placebo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. That's pretty sexy, isn't it? <laughs> Will there be B-sides, speaking of B-sides, uh, or more singles released? What does that mean? Hello, Ender Placebo. Thank you for your question. <laughs> now we'll just shake the magic eight sadly, ball. Sadly, <laughs> the B side is dead. <laughs> no, that was actually one of the first one of the first business meetings we had. Our manager came in and was like, "Well, boys, the B side is dead, so you don't have to worry about it anymore." And we're like, "Oh, it's too bad. End of an era." I yeah. guess we'll have to put all those songs on the record. <laughs> no, we we um we recorded a, we have a number of songs that aren't quite finished that'll probably see the light of day at some point. Mm -hmm. and, a couple lots that won't. And, lots. and a couple that won't. Well, unfortunately, that was the wrong answer. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh -oh. And so you don't win the, <laughs> the big bucks today. Anyway, Angus Birchall. I, now, here's one. I don't even know what this person is talking about. What's your favorite poutine shop in MTLK? What does that mean? You've never been to you know what in Disco Fries are? <laughs> No, I don't know what this is. What no, is a in Quebec, shop? in Quebec, it's like the, the national, uh, national food. junk food. It's like it's French food fries with cheese Quebec. curds and gravy on it is patin. Right, and where is MTLK? Montreal. MTL is Montreal. In Canada, it's spelled with a K. It's K. It's K. I don't know what the K. <laughs> this is great. I yeah. learned a lot today. Thank you. Yeah, they are next yeah. to each other on the keyboard, I think. It's a typo. Martin, <laughs> Terry, typo. Luther King. <laughs> 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 now Mosley two four five says, "Hey, any pre-show rituals like, you know, burning little babies or uh, oh you know, sacrificing animals, hugging friends?" <laughs> Question mark. Uh, yeah, you know, the huge, usually, uh, like a game of high lie, and we kill yeah. the we kill whoever wins and <laughs> take yeah. them, you know. Is that so why 20, there's always new members in the band? 2012 is rapidly approaching and cuts a coatl and just needs to <laughs> get a snack on. Takes a quadlan. We we try to just not get distracted. Yeah. <laughs> That's the big ritual. That's the big thing. We try not to eat too many snacks. Yeah. Huh. Speaking of which, we never answered the previous question. Shoot. Poutine. Would you, what was the question? My favorite oh, kind of yeah, yeah. our favorite, the favorite kind of poutine. Place yeah. To be favorite place. Yeah. To get it. You like mine is, in Quebec. Yeah. Mine. Sh I like sh the spicy poutine at Shea Ashton. Which but is Quebec City, not Montreal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the, most, the most remarkable one in Montreal is the Pied de Cochon one. Oh, that's nasty. But it's, that's awful. I but can't, if someone from out of town wants like a, no, like that's a gourmet, gourmet no, no, that's totally, it is gourmet. Yeah, that's not even what it's like. <laughs> it's, it's nauseating. It's horrible. I mean, sorry. Check out this guy. <laughs> don't, uh, it's, just, it's absurdly rich. Sorry, it's, good. it's really good, though. I was trying to do an ad for them, and this guy is trying to tear them down. No, you, no it's balanced, though. So yeah, what do you have fine. to say about it? It exists. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Okay, now we got Mosh Up Rock or Mo Shuprock. Uh, did the Mo Shuprock. Mo, I think it's Mo. Yeah, it is. It is him. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I saw him just lurking around outside earlier today. Yeah. Uh, did the majority of the band grow up in the suburbs? I want to know if the majority did. What did the minority do? But are you suburban suburbanites or most of us? I think we all did our time. Yeah. I grew up in the suburbs. I did. High, I was in the suburbs in high, during high school. Yeah, yeah, me too. Before that, I led a very culturally rich inner city life. 
<laughs> so I'm sort of the black sheep. I was a redneck before that. <laughs> Some people never grow up in the suburbs. They stay children forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stuck. Stuck. Now, oh, look at this one. You're going to love this name. Arcade Fire Lover. Mm. Oh. Who? Just who? Uh, arcade Fire Loser? <laughs> no, a loser? Like no, a it's luge, like Arcade Fire Lover. Oh, there you okay. go. Arcade Fire Lover. Here are your musical inspirations. Mm. Hmm. Changes daily. Mm, today, Glenn Gould. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's left field. Yeah, he's just saying. Just calling it like it is. I'm throwing this one out of nowhere, but, well, it's not out of nowhere. I guess for the last year, or last couple of years, I, I listened to a lot of ACDC. That's, that's yeah. Wow. When I'm not busy listening to Glenn Gould, I am also <laughs> doing that. Yeah. Anything good. I mean, I just listen to community radio, and whatever mm -hmm. comes on community radio and sounds good, it's yeah. like, that sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then you try to download it illegally later. Yeah. Do so. any of you listen to classical music? Yeah. 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 I do a lot, yeah. Does it affect you in musically? I mean, do you actually incorporate it makes a me embarrassed. Or <laughs> <laughs> makes me embarrassed about what I do. <laughs> Constantly question my career path. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Anybody, was anybody in the group classically trained? Sarah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 That's funny. She can play the violin. Yeah. yeah. I had a little bit of piano lessons when I was small. Right. I did too. Yeah. And that's the extent of it. Yeah. Yeah. Of the that explains a lot. Classical training. My, yeah. brother's, my brother's a classically trained. Classically trained pianist, and that I was around that for a long time. And but where were you and when? Isn't wasn't your grandfather a well-known musician? Yeah, he was a jazz musician, um, and he was also ashamed to not be able to play like, classical <laughs> music as good as he could. Um, no, I mean he was a guitarist. He actually he studied with Segovia for a little while, and he would go and be like you know, kind of the bottom third of the class. and uh, But then everyone was jealous because he could play jazz. Yeah. Like all the other classical guitarists would be like, oh, I'll play that song. And he was like, oh, but I want to play this other one. But they were like, no, 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 this is cooler. Trust me. So. I think that's it. Cool. And love is in the air tonight. Love is in the air tonight. Can you feel it? Oh, if I keep singing this, we're going to have to pay royalties, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you have to sing under, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. Or